Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Plantastic77 here, coming to you with a little update video and just some Team Fortress 2. I'm playing the Soldier with the basic rocket launcher, the uh, whip, buff banner, and yeah, uh, we're just gonna play a little bit of TF2 and just talk about what's going on. Um, reason I wanted to make this video today was um, I hit a little milestone that I've been wanting to hit for a couple of weeks now, and I have 51 subscribers at this point. Uh, hopefully that number doesn't go down, and I'm a liar. But very happy to hit this number, um, just because I've just been starting to, you know, take the YouTube thing a little. I've been able to put a little bit more time. I've always taken it seriously to a degree. I've always seen it as a hobby, of course. But um, lately, I've been able to put more time now that I moved into my new apartment and, uh, you know, started my new job and I finally settled into everything here in Washington D.C. Um, so it's been really nice to just finally, you know, dedicate some time to record and edit and come up with ideas and all that kind of stuff. That being said, uh, I don't want to make this a whole update video, so I just want to talk about what I wanted to talk about today. And that is the uh, whole moving process itself and basically just the story of how I ended up here. Uh, I said I would do it in a different video, but that didn't happen. So basically what happened was I got my plane ticket, um, went from Los Angeles to Washington DC uh, to start my new work. My work gave me a week to find a new place and I thought, you know, like, oh, you know, this is the East Coast, uh, it's not like the West Coast where it's a little bit harder to find housing and, you know, work and all that kind of stuff. Believe it or not, California is very hard to find jobs in the uh, nonprofit and politics uh, industry. But regardless, came out here, stayed at an Airbnb for a few nights. Um, an Airbnb is kind of like a hostel that you rent from people. So I rented this room uh, in downtown Washington, D.C. from this girl from Spain. And she was very nice, very accommodating, I really liked the place. Um, but my search began. So I went on Craigslist, which is a website in the United States um, that's kind of just like a uh, random jobs offered, things offered for sale. So I started looking for um, places to rent, apartments, houses, whatever, extra rooms, and started calling. I sent maybe 30 or 50 emails to some of these reply to these ads, and just started looking. And I ended up visiting about a total of eight places, um, four on the first day, four on the second day. Um, the first day was really, really like. Uh, not eye-opening, but just really discouraging um, first day to go searching. The first place I went to um, was overly priced. It was really far away from my work. I'd have to maybe commute uh, 45 minutes to it. Just not a good situation. And the worst thing about it was uh, the ceiling was literally touching my head. Like, and in my mind, I'm trying to like justify it. Like, oh, it's not that bad. I can just like squat over, you know, for a few hours a day. It's not that bad. <laughs> The next place I went to was uh, really far away in the middle of nowhere, I mean, but the farther away you get from the city, the uh, cheaper the prices get and the more room you get in your room. So I kind of ended up going with the middle route, which was really nice. Uh, so I'm not directly in the city of Washington, D.C., but I'm not completely f removed from it. And the price is great. ended up finding a great roommate. Um, you just had really nice setup, um, and now it's just getting you know all the rest of the furniture into the room. Uh, right now, I'm using a coffee table as a computer table, and a uh, dining chair as a computer chair. So hopefully, in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to move some stuff into here. But the funniest thing has been just like seeing what the old tenants did in the house and um, apparently these guys were big like D Dungeons and Dragons fans so there's a lot of uh, like wall mountings that you could see that were, that were there and apparently they used to hang battle axes and um, medieval weaponry and all that so I thought that was kind of interesting and they also left uh, two kites behind which are really fun to go kite flying um, and I think I'll put a video at the end of this of uh, the kite flying for a couple of seconds, just because, I don't know, I thought it was really cool, we did it by the Capitol um, building. But that's about it. I'll leave you with some kite flying footage at the end of this. Thank you all for watching, and thank you to the 51 subscribers so far. Hopefully we can double it and make it 100 in the next couple of months. Thanks, everybody.